Well, Black and White Network, Donald Trump is definitely in general election mode. He already has enough delegates to actually become the GOP nominee. In all reality, he is the GOP nominee. We've known that really ever since he actually announced he would be running for president for a third time. I mean, this man has a strong grip on the GOP. And he also has a lot of control now over the RNC. The people he recommended got put in place pretty easily. Now, there's been a question on who Donald Trump would actually select to be his running mate to become the vice president of the United States. Now, in the beginning, a lot of people were saying Trump DeSantis, but that ship definitely has sailed. Yeah, Ron DeSantis dropped out. He endorsed Trump. But ever since then, we haven't seen anything from Ron DeSantis when it actually comes to Donald Trump. I believe that relationship is probably broken, but hey, I may be surprised. I mean, what if Trump actually comes out and announces Ron DeSantis as his uh, running mate? Now, I was really hoping that uh, Vivek would be the guy because Vivek, man, he really knows how to communicate what he's actually saying. He does an, an extremely great job at doing that. But we got some bombshell news here, guys, on um, on Vivek and Donald Trump. I was hoping that he would be the guy for VP, but it doesn't look like that is going to happen. So let's talk about it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday just starts at five dollars per month. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button, get access to the same thing. So here we go. Look at this, guys. President Trump considering the vague for a cabinet position, not VP, according to reports. Now, when Trump was actually on with, um, I believe it was Fox News, they started uh, rambling off names for VP. Uh, they mentioned uh, Chrissy Nome, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, the vague. And others, and Trump said, yeah, they're all on the short list. But now it seems like Vivek won't be that guy. Now, Vivek has also said when he was actually running for um, president that he wouldn't actually consider being the VP because he considers himself a number one. And you know what? I can kind of agree with that. But Trump, he is 77 years old. He can only run for um, one more term. And the general successor usually is the VP. So if it's not Vivek, then who is it? Is it a uh, Chrissy Nome? I believe uh, Chrissy Nome is actually um, 50, 51, something like that. Definitely ain't going to be Nikki Haley. She's not on the list. Trump has already said not, not, it ain't her, which is a good thing. But apparently Vivek is going to actually get a cabinet position in a Trump administration. He's uh, being considered for a DHS secretary. So. Let's read this, guys. It says on Monday, it was reported that Vivek Ramaswamy is no longer under consideration to be Donald Trump's pick for vice president. The former commander in chief told his former competitor that he would instead try to set him up with a cabinet position. According to Bloomberg, sources familiar with the matter revealed that Trump contacted Ramaswamy personally to deliver the news. Among the positions being considered is Department of Homeland Security Secretary. Among those considered for potential cabinet positions by Trump and his team are another former GOP primary adversary, North Dakota Governor D Doug um, Berman, and he's um, as a jumping all over um the post millennial, but anyway, along with uh, Representative Elise Stefanik, and her name has really been getting out there a lot lately, and former U.S. Uh, Trade Representative uh, Robert Leitzer. Per Bloomberg, Trump is looking for a running mate who isn't motivated by the limelight, but who will help give him a measurable edge in a race against Beijing Biden, according to those familiar with his thinking. 
Trump has confided to close advisors, advisors and allies that none of the names circulating as potential running mates have impressed him much. His list of options has only grown longer, not shorter, according to people close to the former president. Uh, Bloomberg also reports that Donald Trump Jr., the president's son, has expressed interest in assuming a significant role during the transition phase. So if Vivek is not the guy and his list has actually gotten longer, who could it be? I mean, if he's talking about giving him an edge over um, Joe Biden, is it going to be a woman? It may be. It may be because the only knock on um, Republicans really in the general public is really this abortion thing. But I think Trump has actually done a really, really good job talking about abortion. Now, what hurt Ron DeSantis probably is he was actually kind of running to the right of Donald Trump on the abortion issue. Now, in a state like Florida, yeah, you can get away with that. You can also get away with that here in Texas. But when you're talking about a national election, you have to be, I guess, more moderate on that position. Now, me, I'm definitely extremely right when it comes to abortion. But if I'm running for president, I'm probably not going to uh, take it that far because we saw it happen in, uh, in the midterms. And um, other elections as well. That's people on the right, man, that really do want abortions, which I don't know why, but those people do exist, man. And it's mainly women. Women, for the most part, are more emotional on that issue. So maybe just maybe he's actually going to get a female to be his running mate. Now, I don't believe that Trump is actually going to go out there and get a female, you know, for, um, for woke points. I don't think he's going to do that. I think at the end of the day, he's going to go out there and get someone that he feels is best to get the job done, whether it's a man or a woman, but definitely won't have any Mike Pence's anymore. And, you know, that's good. I mean, Trump also has come out and admitted that um, during his first term, he actually made some mistakes, you know, with the people he actually surrounded himself with. I mean, he really wasn't um, around in Washington, D.C., and there's people in his, in his administration that actually refuse to back him now. Um, Mike Pence, for one. Um, Liz Farrell Griffin was in his administration. Who else was? Another person, too, as well. I don't remember exactly who it was. But the establishment, he needs nobody that's establishment in his cabinet. He doesn't need that. But Vake, yeah, he definitely um, should have a cabinet position. He's anti-establishment. So we have to see. But I was really hoping that he would actually be the guy to actually become the VP. But it doesn't look like it's actually going to happen. Could it actually be Tulsi Gabbard? It could be. It could be. I don't know how people actually feel about that, but um, that is still a possibility as well. Or could it be Chrissy Nome or Elise Stefanik? That's probably the top two right there, in my opinion. But I don't know. I really don't know. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and White Network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.